We are going ahead with the cover to the mini album. And we'll see whether my other recording made it or not. If not, I'll show you the pages when we do the little, we'll do a little flip because I'm not done decorating. It just wouldn't be complete without my flowers. And I like when I do my covers, I like to kind of make things go off the page a little. Hey, perfect finish it finishes. Welcome to Scrappy Sisters. Hello. Hello. Time. Okay. Little blingage right there. Do you know the new beat? <sighs> I think that's probably. Because see, the charm's going to hang here with the fibers. I got these really cute. See, this is the other one. I have this cute fiber. So that's why I'm kind of leaving that. Because it's going to go. It's going to go there. Oh, that looks pretty. <laughs> Huh. Pat herself on the back again. You know why? Because I'm always surprised. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that looks good. What a big surprise that was. <laughs> I promised I was going to put a copper flower on here, some um, leaf on here somewhere too to tie in the copper, but I don't know where it's going to go. It's a little big. I'm going to cut it down. Her in her favorite house. Let's see. What? I missed that. Eileen tweeted a picture of her on in her favorite Halloween costume. Aww, that's that's really cute. Would she look like a, a Zigfield Follies girl? <laughs> <laughs> How about a French chambermaid? Let's see. Uh, Eileen, guess who I am? What? Oh my goodness. Eileen, are you Annie Oakley or are you the bride? Look how cute the three of you are. Oh, I like that. That's going under there. Excuse me. Hey, Darcy, you know when you're done, you're going to have to make a Halloween cost, uh, Halloween card because today is National Card Ma Happy World Card Making Day. Do you know, I saw that and all the color drained out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, you can't make me. <laughs> Everyone knows my card making skills are legendary. <laughs> oh, I like the little leaf sticking out. That looks good. Um, I kind of like it in more than a little bit. Yeah. Bride, I mean, was the bride. The Bride of Frankenstein? No, I don't think she was Frankenstein. She just was a bride. Aww. Was that her real wedding or was that Halloween wedding? No, no. It was the actual Halloween. There's three little kids. Who were the two other kids in the picture with Aww, you, Eileen? Aww, that's so cute. Oh, I was going to stick this view in. Oh my gosh, Jess said, oh, come on now. Cards are fun, LOL. She said, these <laughs> albums make my brain hurt. Yeah, cards are fun. It's, you have, it's so much work just for one thing. I'm not complaining because I love getting them. I just do not, and equal, I don't like to get them. <laughs> I just like to get. <laughs> That's probably Two. bad, huh? I don't know, it's good. okay. I like the little gear on there. Hey, I'm doing a giveaway of, oh, it was the China girl. I thought it was Annie Oakley. Oh, no, Carol was the cowgirl. Oh, Peggy was the China girl. Okay, I gotcha. Aw. 
That's cute. Well, um, we're doing a giveaway at the end of four. For everyone that came to the first stream, I have your names on chat, so I've just been writing them down since the beginning and, no, and just ran just a random order. And then um, we're giving away the mask. That, is it the one you're making right now? Yeah. We're giving away the mask album. So you're going to get Bride of Frankenstein mask, uh, altered mask album holder. And then, into, what yeah, that one. Little mini unit. So. Okay. So now, why don't we work on the binding? So the binding is made out of gaffer's tape, but like we said earlier, you can use um, duct tape, you can use, uh, what, was it, what was the other stuff? Craft hacks. See, and it's just a little, little buckle kind of. So this tape is this was the right width too so this tape is like one and seven eighths that's what it's like one and seven eighths and then i made these let me see how long i made these there's a one on this thing it's like upside down and backwards. Wait, wait, <laughs> no sense of direction. Okay, so I used a piece that was four and a half inches long. And you can adjust it. And the cool thing is you can just cut it off if it's too long or whatever, so. So let's see where the end is. It's sticky. Oh, Claus Man is in the house. I didn't even know he was in here. Hey, Claus Man. Because uh, you have to actually go out to see this thing, you know? Yeah. Well, that's cool. And I feel bad. Someone sent me a PM, but I didn't know it, and now they're gone. Aww. Sorry, uh, they don't show up like they used to. You actually have to go some. You have to like go somewhere to oh, see them. Oh, this see, is crazy. I wouldn't know that. I would have. I'd miss a PM too. I wouldn't know that. And I think all I did, you guys, was just. What did I do here? Let me see. Let me unstick myself first. <laughs> I folded it in. It looks like I folded it in about you know quarter of an inch or so, and then I cut another piece and put it on the top. So, that's what we'll do. And the other thing, when you're checking who's in the chat, you can't look at the, can't look at um the chat, so, great. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, we've all had this problem. Yeah, well, aside from whatever this recording glitch is, um, I'm happy because it seems to have been working out for me, so. I think I'll go. I think I'll go on the mirror side. You really want to try to get it pretty much, you really want to get it so it pretty much goes to the ends of that hole. It's just got a little wiggle room. That's ideally what you want. Okay. So, let me get another one going. So I'm going to post on our blog, blogspot.com who wins in case you guys have left. I'll put the winner if you're not in the chat when we announce it at the end of the show. Okay. Okay. You don't have to be present to win. You just had to show up in the chat. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it was Raven. I sent you a PM. Yeah, Raven, I'm just, I don't know. To be honest with you, um, I don't know if I can get it. Okay, I think I got everybody's. Name. Oh, she's We're sending just... it to you, Donna, because you're me in the chat. 
Okay. Yes, I got it, and I found it, and I will email it to you. That's on my that's on my list to do this week. I got it. Okay, good. Sorry, not on the screen again. Balancing my roll of gaffer's tape. <laughs> and now I'm just going to cut this piece down the middle, and then that's just what's going to cover right there. It looks really nice. I remember that. Let me see. Let's see if there's a good use for this though. Yeah. So Timmy's scissors work well on this. I may have even torn it. Because it's fabric. I gotta roll up again. See, this is what happens to me halfway during the day. My back starts aching and I start rolling back and I have to keep checking to make sure I'm still moving around. Oh, well. <laughs> I, may, I may have torn this instead of cutting it. Let's see what happens if we do. Oh yeah, see? It works. Oh, cute! Paula just posted her puppet on Dracula. <laughs> Aw, thanks, you guys. That's so cool. That is so cool. Am I allowed to take these photos and put them on the blog because they're just too cute? I won't put who you are. Maybe we could do a guess no. who this is. Why don't you do or do a link back to their blog so that people will check them out? Okay, well, I can do a guess who this is, and then I can do links back to your blog. Oh, that'd be so cute. Okay. Or your Flickr or whatever you want with me to your, link it yeah, to. Yeah, with your permission. Um, just let Donna know. You know, because that would be so cute. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. Yeah, it really would. Okay, so we have liftoff. I mean, you look just you're looking all so innocent. Oh, <laughs> I mean, that's so cute. What happened to you? No I'm kidding. <laughs> Became your friend? I don't know. <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, that's cute, Janet. Her brother had an organ grinder and a mo was an organ grinder and a monkey. That is cute. Need five dollar gift certificate. Aww. So I cut the cut a kind of a pointy but a blunt end so that it'll lie flat. And I just, um, basically what I did the first time was I just cut from the center down about a half inch, and then I just cut the corner off the top, the point off the top. So I want to make sure this is even. Make sure that those really look nice. Really nice. I'm getting this stuff stuck to my scissors. Ta da! <laughs> no, that was a little. So, depending on the tape you use, if you end up with like a tape edge, you can just um, use a Sharpie your black sharpie and just go around and, and um, do the edges and then you won't see that kind of tape adhesive piece. Okay, and then... Ooh, that's kind of cool. that's so nice. I hope I can get my get to my Velcro easily. Just think about that. My chest and all over the place. Who went at the House in the Prairie? Oh, oh. Miss Pritz. Oh, that's cute. 
cute. That's what you would have done. was my favorite, and Darcy bought me Little House on the Prairie. I used to do her, I used to play Laura Ingalls all the time. Yeah. Out in the woods, and she bought me the color form set for Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> Okay, so let me see if I can get another go. I know, I'm back up. This is nuts, so I'm going to try popping out the chat and see what happens. Because I'm back like, I don't know, 20 minutes on the chat. Oh, yes. Use the quick grip again. This is awesome. I can read the chat, watch you, listen to you, and I can iron at the same time. <laughs> wow, you iron? I've got a stack of ironing. It's on my to do list for the week. <laughs> I'm on to the master closet. Now that I got my craft room all organized, everything's been purged and boxed and ready to go That's set up good. and decorated and whatever now i'm on to the now i'm onto the master closet do you guys find this like blobs like it's blobs <laughs> like the pressure of it or something pushes on it One thing I have to do in my craft room is get my labeler out. I got to go to town with my labeler because I I have it so well organized that I can't find anything. Oh boy, that is organized. That's <laughs> hurt like me. Where's my pumpkin tool? Here I go again, where I put stuff down, and then I'm like, where to go? Oh, I actually put it back in the toolkit. Not to look at I just wanted to get some of this extra glue off while it was wet. Do you still have your Joycey box for your stuff? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, my computer box storage thingy. Yep. I love it because it's long and narrow, so it doesn't take up a lot of space on the table. Yeah, that was the day Joyce was showing hers, and I had got a laptop recently and I ran out to the area where I keep my stuff because I was getting ready to recycle the box <laughs> I pulled it out of recycling. <laughs> that was pretty fun. I've never even heard of that. Carol, you teach ironing? How do you, how, what? <laughs> Where do you teach how to? She teaches ironing? To who? People who can't iron, they can't. I actually did teach, iron, teach a class on ironing for advanced sewing. I mean, how long did oh, it take? Oh, see, but that makes, no, that makes sense, Jonna. Because think about it, if you're making sleeves and collars and... You don't realize it, but that's probably where you learn too, from all the sewing. You know? That's yeah, you're right. How I started ironing. That's a good that's idea. Really 
John is the one that's told me <laughs> once a long time ago, Darcy, you need a new ironing cover for your ironing board. It will change your life. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> Back in your housewife days. It will change your life. <laughs> I don't know if the ironing board covered it, but the Rowenta did. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I swear by the Rowenta. The Rowenta iron changed my life. Oh, that was so funny. Okay. So we're going to let those dry. Those look really cool. And the one thing that I want to tell you about that is I did put these closer to the end this time than on this one because I found that with the Velcro, it, it'll kind of stick out a little. And I mean, it looks okay, but I thought if I put it farther down, it would look better. It'll lie, lie flatter, lay flatter. So, more of those dry. Ooh, that was kind of a happy find. A happy find. Of course, I could have used these if I wanted to do two that weren't matching. These would have been cute, too. These old ones. Please. So yeah, this binding's kind of fun. I must say, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> so I'm just taking some Velcro, some black Velcro. That's what we're going to use. Obviously, you could even glue these shut once you had your album done if you, you know, didn't want to make them able to open. Okay, so that's drying. Let's see. These are these are still drying. Yeah, I want to finish her project from um Sorry. What? Who? Oh, friend. Because I've been I did my one I did gym. <laughs> I finished that one last last night. And it's adorable. Yeah, I am. Um, I guess I haven't finished mine yet. <laughs> I will though. It's like my favorite little sound loop. That was such a fun little thing. Really and we got so much loop. Oh my gosh, when I went back through that stuff when I was reorganizing, I was like, wow. They gave us a lot. Okay. I know, I'm thinking I need to do some Anna Dabrowska canvases. <laughs> While I'm, I know, while I'm letting things dry, I think what we're going to do is go back and paint, uh, we'll paint the inside of the mask and let that dry. Because that, that feels pretty good to me. So I'm just going to go around the edges and trim where I may have gone over with the paper. Here I go again. The leaning. Do you get trick or treaters in your at your place? No, but at work we have a lot of fun. We decorate our area, and they all come around. So everyone who works at the firm, who has children, gets them all dressed up, and they trick or treat in our office building. And so everybody puts out candy and has all kinds of. You know, like all those like scary things, like the spiders that come down from the ceiling and the fake smoke and all that. Um, you know, some people really get into it. Like we had stuff that looked like a spider web that they had to walk through when they came in the door, and a cauldron oh. with like smoke that came out of it, and it was really fun. And um, you know, and then it's safe. And so then they go to all the floors and they trick or treat, and then they have a party for them upstairs, and they serve food and do a movie. So, it's really fun. Oh, that's <coughs> Sorry. Oh, get something great. Um, yeah, it's, it's really fun. It's fun. But they don't let me drink Gabby. So, I don't get to dress up with my child. It's discrimination. The nice thing about this Mod Podge is if you do inadvertently get some somewhere, it'll just scrape right off on the plastic. So there she is, pretty pretty. And 
Let me just kind of tear it up on the inside. Just have some pink hair black. This has a little PBO acrylic, which is what I grabbed, so I'll do that. Just some wax paper, because I can't find any more palettes due to the massive reorg. <laughs> oh, but it's getting there. It's starting to clean it too. I don't know why it's stuck. It's kind of taken out of there. Ah. I want this one, and I need a final one to go down there. I don't know. But yeah, I am finding things I didn't know I had, so it's really fun. I know. I did the same thing. I forgot, like, I had some stuff, so it's been fun pulling it out. Yeah. Yep. Oops. Okay. I think it's open. I think it's pliers or something. Let me just use my one. Use my basics. So I'm just putting on a nice coat. I think I may have put two coats on. Um, we'll see. I had to laugh, though, because we were talking last night about when I was going through some of the scrapbook paper, mm -hmm. and I came across, like, um, well, I've been looking at the new stuff coming out, and everything that's coming out now is like purple and oh, green. Yeah, that's right. We were talking about that. I don't get that too close to my mask. So, like, I found all these papers, like Dream Street made a hat a line, and I forgot who else. There was a bunch of lines that came out with all those colors. They all came out at the same time, all those colors. And then I was like, I was in a couple of kit clubs at, back then. And so I was doing like all the same stuff, and I remember being on the phone with Darcy going, "Who, who would put purple and green and mauve and green together?" Yeah, she was just like, "Ew, I hate all that purple and green." I was like, I, "Um, the color wheel." <laughs> no, is that like a, is that like a split complimentary or something? I don't know. Somebody, please, please advise. I'm still not crazy about that combo. <laughs> I still don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Color Wheel Maker must not have had his his original glass. He must have had his backup glasses on when he picked that color combo. <laughs> his backup glasses. <laughs> oh my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so funny at Dom. In Italy. Jonna would Jonna would use her shoulder. Kay would K, who's at Texas Folk Art, who's K, and um, she was teasing Jonna, but Jonna would just, you know, say it was everything was her shoulder, <laughs> which was because well, I was joke. in a lot of pain, and I have to say I was being a pretty good trooper going on that trip with as much pain as I was in. And she was, I mean, she was teasing because we all knew she really did have, you know, it really was a problem. So she was just. She was just like, yeah, and there's that, you know, then you'll just complain about your shoulder again, or something like that, I don't know. So then, after Jonna stole her um, malted milk ball candy that Anita Houston had given to Kay, but Jonna didn't know it, <laughs> Kay goes, my shoulder! <laughs> that was funny. Jonna's shoulder stole your candy. Um, no sympathy from those people, let me tell you. <laughs> oh. It was fun, though, in Jim's stream this week. We were reminiscing about that trip, and I'm, I'm sure it was, you know, probably wasn't as much fun for everybody else, but there were a few of us in there, and it was, it was really fun. We had a good time. And just the way Jim describes things is hilarious, you know? Okay, Carrie says that 
looking at my color wheel, violet, green, and orange are a triad. Aha. Uh -huh. There you go. But where did the mauve come into play? Violet, green, and mauve. Well, mauve is, is a mauve a shade of? A violet. Yeah. It's a mixture of something. Something, something. Okay, violet, yellow, green, yellow, orange are split complementary. I knew it. Alrighty. So now you'll have to go back and see if there was any orange thrown in there too for good measure. <laughs> I'd rather not go look at that stuff anymore. <laughs> Traumatizing my eyeballs. Oh. And the weird part is I like the color purple. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I just don't think it's green. I like purple and green together. It's like nature. How is that like nature? You know, flowers on green trees. Flowers, here we go. Flowers again. <laughs> <laughs> Flower me. colors. Flower colors. Oh, I get those. I like lavender bushes and lilacs and yeah. Now you can use any color you want, but I liked the black because you know she had black hair, and it kind of mutes down all of the see the see how the bumpiness sort of smooths out a little as it, when it dries. So it actually looks really good. It doesn't look bad. Who in there? I mean, I want to know what a fifteen hundred dollar sheet feels like. Yum. We used to have a place called ABC Home, where I lived in Florida, that had stuff like that. Hundred dollar sheet. People who have it. People who can. I know I don't know that if I had that kind of money I would spend that money on on sheets. I mean I want to I would like to know I would like to have them out in front of me. I would have to feel the difference between a two hundred dollar sheet and a fifteen hundred dollar sheet. Mm -hmm. I mean where do you draw the line? Seriously. Oh, I just check to make sure I don't have anything. Yeah. Knowing me. I mean, yeah, at the end of a year, that's a tiny house. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that what we were talking about the other night about the Bernina sewing machine? Get at my tiny house. Well, none of my friends can afford $1,500 sheets, so I don't know that I'll ever be able to know what one feels like. <laughs> okay. Switch over to my smaller brush. But if anybody gets to that point of having $1,500, I would like to know what it felt like. Just take an old one, cut it up, and send me a piece. <laughs> take an old one. JJ, how long do those sheets last? Do they have to be replaced a lot? Could you imagine? Could you imagine coming home and your and your husband is using your fifteen hundred dollars sheet as a drop cloth? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think people like that are that handy, are they? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to worry about that. Now I'm off camera again. Oh, you guys get to look at the square. Look at the square. I saw Ashley in here earlier. I don't know if she's still there, but I'd like to say hi because I didn't say hi. Hi, Ashley. Ashley's got a cute Halloween project coming up. Oh my gosh, she's a little sneaky peeky. Really? Oh, yeah. Uh, 
super cute. She'll have it probably on her blog or on her Facebook page. Scraps, buttons, and bows. Yeah, really cute. Well, let's see. I know what I can do. On my deathbed, Ugh. cash in my savings <laughs> and buy $40,000 sheet set to, to sleep in on my deathbed. Oh, that's so morbid. Why? I mean, that's the only way that I would have the money to do it. I wouldn't, you know. It was if you knew you didn't need it later. <laughs> that I wouldn't um, need the money later, so. The things we would do if we knew we wouldn't need the money later. There's probably a nice long list of those. It's funny because I was talking about that with a friend of mine at work. And I know this is a little sad and maybe a little morbid, but. I said, you know, I'm always torn. That's why I take the trips I take, and that's why I do what I do, because my dad didn't retire, you know? He died at 60, and he, you know, so he didn't get to do all that stuff, so. And her dad died at 59, so it was like, you know, saving for retirement is kind of like, hmm, go to England or save for retirement? <laughs> Guess which one's going to win? Oh, she's never replaced them. They've all been in pristine condition for 22 plus years. Wow, how wonderful is that? Yeah, but she doesn't use them all year, right? Because she's only there part of the time. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm compl here. I am. I am like communing with my muse here, filling in. Isn't that creepy? Like no, you're totally off camera. I Every now and totally then I see a flip. You know what I was doing? I was facing the computer. Chatting away. Just <laughs> facing the computer. Oh my goodness, y'all. Jonna needs to go. Darcy, offsides. <laughs> I don't like this brush. This brush is a little floppy. Let's see if you back in sight again. I really want to, I don't like this brush. I got to get a less floppy brush to, to do this. I need a long hair type brush. This is just like a little bit floppy. Maybe I'll just use a marker. <laughs> Gee. I must have used a different brush on the other one because I don't remember it being quite this fussy. But this is fussy. I'm trying to use sheets all the time, not because I'm just like. I'm trying to use sheets all the time. Not because I buy cheap ones, because I don't. I buy nice sheets, not $1,500. Jonna definitely buys nice sheets. Shauna comes here and she's like, you need to buy my sheet. <laughs> to, go with, what? to go with your new ironing board cover. <laughs> yeah. Well, it just kind of creeps me out sleeping on old sheets because you think of bed, you know, you think of the, you know, bugs in your body. And I mean, do they really get killed in your washing machine? Do they really get killed in the dryer? I don't know. I, yeah. I like nice, I, I like new sheets because they like, they're, they're kind of, they have a little more body to them, is that, way, is that what you'd say, with the sizing, I don't know. Okay, so I am probably, because this is going to someone, I am probably going to do a nicer job, but not make you watch me to get around those holes, so. Just get the chin done there. Yeah, I'm a white sheet girl. I teach them. I do the same thing. Yeah. And I really like the I like the crisp cotton sheets, the ones you have to iron. Because I don't like how some of the other ones like will even the expensive ones they'll get like um kind of pilly feeling, you know, the hundred percent some of the cotton ones. So, make that at all. Oh, okay. Who who has a bed in a bag? <laughs> I need I need to find people like me who don't buy expensive 
Oh, a bed in the bag. Oh, so funny. So much sense of linens. <laughs> Where are my people? Come out, come out. <laughs> I think Jeannie piped in a while back that she... Somebody said somebody somebody shops at Target. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I actually I shop I like the Tuesday morning ones because you can get really nice ones there for not a lot of money. That's what I like to buy. Them. I've got I've got some nice sheets there. Excuse me. Yeah. Okay, so I think for now that's gonna be good. Let me just let that draw on me. Okay. And I'll get a better brush to go around the eyeballs. Dawn. Dawn is bending the back kind of style. Yay! It's my girl. You know why? Because I like the variety. I like to change it up. Okay. Yeah, I like the IKEA duvets too. On the, oh, I know what I wanted to show you guys. Okay. So my thought about the mini album was to use what I was referring to as a, as a reverse matting mechanism. <laughs> Call it a mechanism. So I may have to pull the big shot out um, because I only got one done. But what I did was I took this die by the Crafters Workshop, and there's a, there are a lot of them out there, but this is the, the smaller, the three by four, and I ran it through with cardstock to create a frame. So the cool part is, like you can use this, and we can decorate around it, hence, hence the pattern paper. See, and then we can decorate around it, and then the photo pops right in there, and so it keeps it nice and light, but you've got this pretty look all decorated instead of stacking your mats so this may be like an old school technique is it jonna making frames yeah you know doing <laughs> your photo here <laughs> exactly <laughs> your photo here and then what i thought would be really cute was i wanted to do it here with um you know, and put one here, and then it just flips up. But if you do this one, you'll have to actually cut your photo the same size as this. Do you know what I'm saying? So that, you know, it's all one piece back there. Your photo would have to be, you know, big enough to stick down to the frame, and then you put the whole thing down, and it flips up. So, that'd be cute though. So I thought it was kind of cool. So I'm going to, um, let me see if I can get the corners to match. I had some discussion about that one day, about which size corner this really is. Oh, Angie Lou wants to see Wonder Woman. Okay, I'll get her. I'll get her. I think it's going to be the way. Um, Wonder Woman. 
There she is. Sorry, the camera's really, um, I've got it really zoomed. But she's got all her little hanging doodads on both sides. And then she'll hang on the wall. And then I haven't painted the pocket yet. I'm going to show you how to do this, though, because I used um, medium weight, medium weight non-woven interfacing because I wanted it flexible. And then I just paper mache that in, too, and then this whole thing will get painted out and decorated. And that's the, that forms the pocket. And then the mini album goes in the pocket. Where that went? Oh, this. <laughs> goes the pocket. Where'd it go? Fun. I mean, I want to make a bunch, you know, like of different kinds. So let's see. This is a little. I know. I wonder if anybody has their vintage costume masks. I know. Oh, if I had one, I would totally use it, though. You know, I'm going to use the fine liner. Let's just decorate a few pages. Um. Let's make some frames. I'll show you how I did it. It's not, it's not rock and though. Sorry. Bring it out the big shot. I got my e-bosser over there, but that's too hard to bring over to the table. So I use the, um, this is what the die looks like. The Crafters Workshop one. It's just a straight three by four, and then I have the four by six too, but it's under here. But that four by six might be too big for this this album to make an actual frame because this is four and a half by six and a half. So I'm doing the smaller ones. And then what I did was this is the magnetic um, Sizzix magnetic base. And then I cut a piece, I cut the cardstock to be the size I wanted, which was about a quarter inch all the way around. So I cut it to be, um, what would that be, Donna? Three and a half by four and a half, so that's four by five? Uh, no, I'm not awake enough to talk about math. Huh? I said I'm not awake enough to talk about math. What clock? I know, you know why, you guys, we were up talking to too. Were. Okay, so let me find my trimmer. See, I knew it was gonna be I knew I was gonna be looking for stuff like that. I think that's what it was, John. I think it was Well, I had a ruler. Let's see. I have a trimmer right here on my lap. Let me see. Yeah, four. Three by four. So we're gonna cut a piece that's three and a half by four and a half. Unless, you know, or if you want them wider, certainly you could do that too. But I want to maybe put some on some tags, so I'm going to make them smaller. Three and a half. Is that wide that one is? Just, we'll do a few of these. Okay. Maybe a couple orange ones. Sorry, I'm doing this off camera, but it's I ran out of table space. <laughs> I got to do it on my lap. <laughs> so I'm just cutting them with my Fiskars trimmer. Get a couple of those going. Okay. And then what I did was I just, I laid, this actually I didn't even have to shim it on that first one. So I don't know, we'll see how this goes. But I've got my base plate and then the magnetic thing. And then what I did was, you know, most times when you use these wafer thins, Johnny, don't you put these up? So I put mine face down. So I put the cardstock down. 
And then I put the, oh, this is so hard, you guys. I'm trying to get it out, the camera's just not, and I don't know why, I'm afraid to adjust it to now. So I put this down first. And then I put the die face down where I want it. See, and the magnet will hold it. And then I put the clear plate on top, and I didn't need a shim. So that was pretty cool. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't think I have any crafters workshop dies. I don't think I didn't even know they even made them. I didn't either, but I wanted these 4x6 and 3x4, and there were several that made them. And so I, you know, I saw theirs and I decided I wanted theirs. This is really, really magnetic. Now, what I found before was I was able to slide that around to get it centered, but I'm having a hard time right now. Close enough. And I'm just crunched it back and forth. Girl, baby girl, just bring it forward, bring it up gently. But there you go, there's the frame. And then these can be used too in the album. Drop it in. Okay. Huh? Nothing, oh. Barb's leaving. I was just saying bye. Bye, Barb. Bye, Barb. So now I'm going to do an orange one, and I'm just getting, trying not to cut myself out of line. <laughs> This magnet thing is really magnetic. <laughs> Has a lot of magnetism. Uh, JJ wanted to know if you had a clear cutting plate on that. I do. Yep. Okay. I, it's a sandwich. Clear plate on the bottom, clear plate on the top. But I did it face down so that I could see what I was doing and line it up the way I want it. Bunga. Have you been watching Teenage Ninja Turtles? Cool. Okay. And gently pull because that magnet is really, really, really strong. Here's the card, and here's the thing. So. That's good enough for now, right? <laughs> so I thought it would be fun to just go decorate a couple pages and and then go back to the finishing off the mask. You know, you don't have to use the um, the round one. You can use the one that we were using, the stub and deco. That'd be pretty too. To match to match the page, wherever she put that. I gotta clear off some space here. I'm starting to. A little hand in. Oh, that's cute. Cute. <laughs> Insert photo here. <laughs> I'm probably going to run out of orange flowers today, too. I'm going to be traumatized. <laughs> I, have to oh, I have to get black. I might have some black. Gray, some white ones, orange. 
Yeah, oh yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, I can always do that. Because it could get bad. <laughs> Let's see if we have... I'm looking for like, um, oh here, here's the kind of stickery journal is boxing. Huh? Oh look, see it says I mean look Eek <laughs> Flamingo Eek I'm Trying to think of what I want to put on it. That's kinda of pretty I like this one. Okay, so I'm gonna stick that I'm gonna stick that down with it. So we'll grab the fine liner. Yeah, so you can see how if you do it this way, that you know the whole album will be a little bit more lightweight once I you see. put your photos in. So I hope that other recording is there. I really hope we didn't lose it. But I'm, I'm not going to let myself, I'm not going to like let myself go all so then. If not, we'll have some random 12 o'clock showing. We could do one for those now that you know, the people live on the West Coast and watch. Yeah, I want to, um, I'm going to put a piece of cardstock on the corner of this so that you can put your photo in. So. But do you have more vintage masks left? To where you can do it over? Okay, wait. I can't, I can't. I have no sense of direction, so I have to figure this out first. Do I what? I can what? What'd you say? I said, do you have any more vintage masks left to where you could do it again? I'm not doing it again. No way. I know. I do. I have some. It's just, you know, with my time situation, how painful it is to have to redo it. I just ugh. don't want to even think about it. So I'm just putting a little piece of cardstock back there so that it'll work like a um, tuck spot. And I'm just going to trim, trim it off. I don't want to do it again. But I, what I might be able to do is do the pieces of it that didn't get captured instead of doing the whole thing, you know what I mean? Could probably do that. Oh, um, on Chick Two, Sandy. She's gonna put down. She's only sticking down three corners, so you can slide your photo in when you get it. Yeah. See, I'm doing that, and then when this sticks down, that's that's the part that will come here, so you'll be able to put your photo in. I might need to make it more. I might need to do more. Okay, this isn't an exact science. <laughs> but that's okay. I want to leave enough on there so it will actually stick. Oh man, Donna, I'm way back in I'm, the chair is like way, way back again. Oh. When was the last time you just got up and you got like some water or something? <laughs> you might need to get up. Yeah, I, I do. I need a break, but let me just do a couple of these pages so I can just show how to do this. Because I really think that it makes a difference because when you put the album in the book, you'll see that it's just going to be, you know, nice and lightweight. Okay, so 
I wanted to stick this one down. I think I need this one protector. Because it's got the brad on the back. Or, you know what's happening, or, um, no, see, that's the line. I should be good. I'm, I just need to be more aware. So, same thing. I'm only going to stick this side down and leave the rest. too much. I mean, I think once the photo gets in there, it'll look good. Let's see what else we got here. We have more of the full camera. I can't even hear you. you are not, 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 not. I have stuck mine all over the place. Right now. What about glossy accent? I put the accent in my fine liner bottle. And now it's all clogged. I didn't find guess you're not supposed to put glossy accent. Oh, really? Hmm. Look how cute that is. Dwarves. I just want to do a few just for fun. Just for fun. So that's the nice thing about an album this size. It doesn't really oops, nice to that down. Doesn't really take a whole lot <laughs> to decorate the pages. So as long as you're mindful of the fact that you're gonna slide your photo in. Now if you were making this yourself, you wouldn't have to decorate around it like I am, but you could just put your photo in, you know, call it done. And where's my language? I may, I may do some regular matting too, we'll see. I think this is the month for people cleaning, cleaning out the bathrooms because mm -hmm. I agree. Everybody seems to be in that mode. Maybe because the holidays are coming and it just makes sense to get, you know, you're going to be making things probably and it makes sense to out with the old, in with the new. Either that or you organized it last year and now you haven't picked it up since you organized it last year. It needs to be clean. <laughs> totally true right there. In my case, anyway. Okay. So, cute, cute little page. Put some bling, put some little collage elements on it. And then, so that's one thing. We can do one of the, um, the flat pocket ones. So, I'd like to save this for a 4x6. Use a much boring page because my all my accessories and my secret stuff is all bright and colored. So I went with just a like a khaki cotton kind of color. 
I like that hook is broken, that's cute. I'm going to trim it down just to fit. People are afraid of us. <laughs> Come here, baby. Good girl, baby. Oh, my gosh, I saw the cutest little baby chihuahua this week. Oh, really? Aww. Puppy, and they called it, they ended up, it's a girl, but they ended up calling it Gator because she's just been eating and chewing on everything. <laughs> oh, my gosh, how cute. The lady had that work with her, and so I was sitting there talking with her, and she had it in her lap, and, and it started gnaw on her desk while she was talking, <laughs> talking to me, and I was like, oh my gosh, she really does chew on everything. That's funny. Aww. It was really cute. The doby, you know, the doby color? Yeah. Aww. And point, really cute. And a deer head, so sweet. I'm just trimming this down a bit so it looks a little better. But I like it there. That's good. I'm going to ink it. <sighs> I need to ink all the pages anyway. Cowabunga! I think I will ink them so they can dry while they're sitting here. Don't you love it when I do whole things off camera? Inking. Yeah, it's like you're trying to teach any of us anything. Didn't I say that once though? I said, I, I'm here just to make stuff. <laughs> that was my, Sorry. That was my disclaimer. I'm just here to make stuff. I'm not here to teach anything. John was like, you should say that. No, I ho I hope you're enjoying your day with us. I do. We try to we try to keep it entertaining. And I'll tell you what, this mini album. I mean, this would just be so cute just to throw one of these together if you needed it as a fast gift too. Because it you know it's just got the three page styles. It's out of pattern paper, so it's already halfway decorated, right? So and the binding is really easy. You can use. Pretty much anything you have. The only thing is that if you know you need that punch, that's kind of that is the one thing you would need. Is that punch. Where goes my phone? <laughs> my girl. I know, Gabby. Oh, Jad. See, we're totally inking off camera, yeah. Oh, my chair. Ooh. Nothing fancy, just inking with a makeup sponge. I have those Tim Holtz things. I have the round one, I have the square one. I have them all. This is easy to grab. I'm still consolidating my tools and organizing that stuff. That's still a work in progress. I'm going to 
Oh, to do a video on the craft? Yeah, you should. If it's done, that'd be great. Because it's kind of like a time warp. Yeah. Mine's a time warp, too. Mine's like a 50s time warp. Because I have my vintage canisters and my vintage lady tea and my vintage um, spice rack. So it'll be cute when it's done. But I don't have a room. I just have a corner. I wonder if I should have tried to. I wonder if you can fit this in these pockets after you glue them down. <laughs> Ooh, you can. Look. That's pretty cool. Yay. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Now let's ink this one. That is awesome. I like this punch, John. Thank you. Thank you, too. It's so funny you don't know you need something till till you have it. Because I always just used the round one and it went halfway, you know? This is yeah. really, this is really convenient. Okay. Anything I think we should do a tag too. Let's do a pretty tag. I'm going to ink this one. I sure hope now that we are memory keepers got bought out that their products still, they keep the same quality. Well, according to Teresa Collins, because, you know, she had she has that arrangement with them, they are. They're not changing anything. That's what they said. I've had my we are memory keeper products for a long time. I use them all the time, and I've never had to replace anything. I've never had an issue. Don't say anything. <laughs> what? Don't say, don't think, oh, you know, we need to plan some obsolescence for these things. <laughs> we need to yeah. make these break down. <laughs> oh, yeah, we might not want to say that. Although I will say my stub punch will probably have to be replaced at some time just because I use it so much. Interesting. Yeah, wonder around there too because I use it so much. Here I go again. Good thing you all know how to ink, because you didn't get to see much. <laughs> good thing. That was good, though. Dorothy wants you to put a banner on that page. Huh? Dorothy wants you to put a banner on that page. I have a banner. I have a banner. I saw it. It's the cutest thing, too. It's in that... And then the, sorry, I'm going to have to back away from the thing we'll get to it first. Well, I can't hear you. You're cutting in and out. Oh, I, can you hear me now? Yeah. I said, you have a chair, a squeaky chair like Joycey, except yours is an alto, and Joycey's is a soprano. You guys could do a duet. The do, do squeaky office chairs. Mm -hmm. Yep, it is squeaky. I love it though, it's so comfortable. And it's pink. I'm just pulling out some of my faux ephemera, as my good friend Paula calls it. There's some creepy, um, creepy pumpkins in here. I don't know if I want to use those. It's kind of creepy. That's cute. Okay, I'll we'll pull the banner out of it. I like these little birds too. I kind of want to cut these, um, this out, this stuff here. It's kind of neat. Okay, so let me see what she said she wanted. I did get started here somehow. What do you mean you want a banner on, on this one, Joycey? Yeah, on this one. So I have to 
Let me think, let me think, let me think. Where's the black mat that I had? Okay, I need to, um, I have to take a break because if you could see what my table looks like right now. <laughs> I can't imagine that. I have this little home tennis face right here. So I need to. for joining us. What? Vicky Midnight, Vicky Midnight oh, Scrappers joining Vicky. us. Hi. Vicky, want to see what we're making? You're going to love it. She's our retro. She's our retro girl. You're gonna love it. Okay, I'll show it to you. Lori Anna's in here too. Who? Lori Anna. Hey, Lori. Hi. Oh, makes it look like a banner. Okay, I yeah, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So this is what we're making. We're decorating a vintage mask. This is my Wonder Woman mask with ribbons and, and netting and stuff. And you can hang it. It's a wall ornament. And um, I didn't finish painting it, but it's got a pocket in the back. It's paper mache for stiffness, because you know how these things are kind of breakable. So it's paper mache with two coats of newsprint. And then um, this little mini album goes inside in the pocket. So we're working on the mini album now because the one I'm doing today looks like this. Bride of Frankenstein. So we painted her all except around her eyes and everything because I want to do that. I want to do a good job on that. So I'm going to do a, a fine brush. But that's drying, actually. Starting to feel, starting to feel good. Getting there. That's what we're doing. Aw, thanks. So let me just get this glued down real quick before I I got sidetracked on the banner thing. Yes, they're real vintage. They're real vintage, Vicky. Yeah, they're they're real. real. Yeah. I got them on like eBay or Etsy or something. Unfortunately, I don't have any of the ones I had. When I was a kid. So we're rebuying our youth. <laughs> Buying back our youth. Tweet that one on there, huh? Okay, I want to make sure I'm, this is going the right way. Oh, you know what? I can't use it on here. Hmm. I made everything go sideways instead of up and down. <laughs> Oh, no. Everything goes sideways instead of up and down. See, this is going to go like that and flip like that. So I need a sideways one. No worries. There are sideways ones here. There's sideways one. This is cute. Do that one. Why did I caught it, though? Because this is all sideways. So let's see how fast I can pull this off before it dries. That one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes. Gotta love it. Came right off. Ooh, this is nice paper. Thank you, Echo Park. You don't rip and do bad things when we change our mind. <laughs> <laughs> Separation thing. Separate layers. Yeah, no, it's nice. I guess I just haven't messed up with Echo Park before, so I didn't know. <laughs> More pretty. I have reading going. Okay, so in this case, I oh, see this popped right off too. So that's good. So maybe what we'll do is we'll put it down here instead. Which we can do. No, so you don't have a Winnie the Pooh mask. Vintage Winnie the Pooh mask, do you? I do not. Why? Oh, because JJ wants one. I saw one. I think I saw one. Check eBay. I checked though, because I don't know if people buy them, you know, for Halloween or not, so you might want to, might want to check. See, now I'm going to have to put something here, though, because I've got glue there. That, that doesn't look good there. I don't like that. I like it here. 
fortunately for me, I'm telling you what, fortunately for me, this is basil cardstock. So it's colored all the way through. So it's not even a problem to pull that glue off. Wow, that's pretty cool. But I am going to have to put something there. So we'll figure it out. Oh, it's going off the e there. You won't see a third profile. <laughs> I really didn't I, that's a cheater fan too, and I love to eat or. Oh, I don't know. I'll just put this here. It's cute too. Yeah. I gotta do something quick. Quick, quick, quick. Let's get this down. Okay, we saved it. Woo! Good save. Good save. Okay, and then I think what would be cute too is just to do a little back on. Say by the bell. Yay. I want to put the fabric top on there. I think I feel like a little better. Jonna, maybe the other one timed out and I didn't notice. Do you know? Oh, yeah. I don't know because it's our first stream since they changed the whole thing. Yeah, I was a little nervous. So I'm, I'm glad that, yeah. It seems, other than me and my user error, it seems okay. Okay, and again, I'm, I'm not gluing it completely down so that you can slip your photo behind all that. So, cute. Yay! Stay by the bell. <laughs> that was pretty fun. Pretty funny. Oh, I have this cute, look at this cute baker's twine too. This is Doodle Twine by Doodlebug Designs. Isn't that cute? I'll let it see if it focuses. It's black and orange and white. Oh, yeah, that's really cute. I like the one they did with the candy corn colors. Mm hmm The yellow, white, and orange. Oh, that sounds cute too. I'm trying to begin with it, so. It's going to look nice with that paper. I think so. I'm just going to tie a little bit on something. So I'll have to get the photo of uh, me as Casper and Melody as the purple cow. Cause... I'm gonna, I want to stamp some of this stuff, too. I think. Picture somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, that would be cute. And I know I have a picture of you in your Indian costume. Not a picture, but I mean, I know we've got like the slide of it. I think it's on our home videos. Okay. Yeah, because the only one I ran across was that princess one, and it was like, oh, man, I couldn't find it when I went looking again. I'm just wrapping some twine around this thing. And I'm gonna... Melody might be hoarding some of our family photos, and we don't know. I know. You know it. We're so nice about our sister holding our family and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but there is truth to that statement. <laughs> Just say nope. that. No problems. <laughs> I don't know. She's she de stashed majorly too. You know, hopefully she didn't de-stash family memories without, like, passing it by any of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hopefully. One would hope. Yeah. That's so cute. Oh, and I'm going to take this opportunity to put one of my glitz. Glitz bobbles maybe on there too. I think 
Wonder, does you stream have a Twitter? What? Stream has well, Twitter? Has a Twitter? Because then we could just all start blasting them with our suggestions. Oh, I don't. I don't know. I think you know what they're trying to do a good job. I know what that was like being tied to that old chat, and I. So yeah, I don't have a problem with them working out the kinks and. Okay, AJ says she's back, $19 poorer, but super happy. Thank you. She found her pillowcase anyway. <laughs> you found what, a Winnie the Pooh pillowcase? Yeah, she wanted a vintage Winnie the Pooh pillowcase. I was on her list. Oh, my gosh, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, my God. That's good. Oh, look, isn't that cute? Oops. Oops, oops, oh my stuff I like. Oh, cute. This guy just this little just a little flat. Journaling photo. And then because it's going, you know, vertically, it goes this way. Sorry, moving around. This way. Right? And then it when it flips up. It's got your little happy do. That's cute. Let's do a tag. Now I think I'm going to be pretty much over the decoration of pages. I know I only did two, but I reached my limit. <laughs> I mean, I do not see a blue band. I think it's your backup glasses. Huh? Oh. I can see it now that I ducked. I'm in this very thing. You can hardly see it. Hardly see what? We were talking about how there's no colors in that anymore. Oh, no color. Yeah, that is diff it, it does make it a little challenging. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, mine's light, light gray, too. Mine's not blue. Do, copper. And I really kind of need, I need something to make a tag out of, and that's not it. So, let's see what we got here. It's too bad the postcards go sideways, huh? Because that would be cute. The bigger ones. Um, you could still tuck it in there even though it goes sideways because a postcard you would just pull out. That's true. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll, we'll put them in a couple of the pockets for the, the final. For, that'd be cute. So I'm just mm -hmm. going to trim, trim that. Let me see what time it is. I don't remember when I... Um, I don't remember when I started the recording. It wasn't very long ago, though, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Sorry, you guys, I gotta do this in my lap. Because I'm out of table space. <laughs> Darcy, why don't you take a little break and then people can go get something to eat? And what? Stuff. Yeah, let's do that. And then I can and clear then off my desk because it's off. really all over now. Okay, we'll do a BRB. I think I have my BRB around. Okay, I'll do it. We'll let Oliver out and drink the water. Okay. I'm going to stop the recording, though, because then there's no point in having just this sitting here. Okay, guys. We'll be right back. <laughs> 